Hey all, Rusty RV TV, welcome. Check it out. We're leaving Wickenburg. What a cool little town, huh? I really enjoyed going down to that uh, Western Museum. Cool stop. Glad we did. All right, we're going to continue on 60 here for a little ways. It's getting a little mid-afternoon. Going to head over to Lake Pleasant. It's supposed to be some free camping spots over there. We're going to check that out. Picture perfect day. Blue sky. Nice and warm. Here we go. This is Highway 60. This would actually take us straight back into Phoenix, which we don't want to go there. <laughs> Make a left here. This is Highway 74, I believe, coming up. They call it the Carefree Highway. Yep, 74. This is one nasty intersection here. They should put a light in got to be very careful all right here we go it's right around 30 miles to go all the way across this would actually dump you out on I-17 which is also Phoenix Scottsdale north of that but about 20 miles down the road there's a cool place called Lake Pleasant it's their massive reservoir for uh, a lot of Phoenix I believe I had some friends that say they bring their ATV out here and free camp. Why not? Why pay? For it be a good evening to do some boondocking. Then tomorrow we're going to head down towards uh, Tucson. Head south of Phoenix. Isn't this this flat as a pancake right here? See all the Sorora cactus out there. Pretty. But you talk about wide open desert, this is it. And to think we're just north of one of the busiest, biggest populated areas of Phoenix <laughs> in all the suburbs. There's so many suburbs around Phoenix. Millions of people live there. But look at this. That's the Carefree Highway straight across. Those mountains way over. That's the end of it. Cool. And this Lake Pleasant, once again, drove past this. I've taken this road dozens and dozens of times. Because from Quartzsite, it's a nice little ride coming across 60 instead of taking the I-10. But never really stopped, checked out Lake Pleasant. All right, here's our turn off. And from here, it would probably be another 10 miles to the end of the highway where you get over to I-17. When you look at this on the maps, there's different areas that you can dry camp. The one I chose, we're going to be out past the lake. It's where all the four-wheelers hang out, I guess. But on the right side would be State Park. Or City Park. No, there's a county park. I think this is county, not state. And on the left is BLM land. Pretty drive though back in here. And it's paved. Right there on the left, that's one of the spots you can camp. But I want to go out farther. I don't want to be next to the road. All right, what do you say? Let's check out the lake first. Never been back in here. And I believe, yep, this is a county park. 
not state. Probably a fee to get in, but okay. Make it right here. Here we go. A lot of boaters come out here. Well, if you can just imagine, this is the probably the biggest, I'm sure, but one of the only lakes out here around Phoenix. Looks like seven bucks to get in. Okay, that'll work. I did my share of boating. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't miss it. Don't miss it at all. Floating RVs, but a boat, that's a real money pit. All right, let's get, get going here. I just got a day pass. Come in here. We gotta scope it out. Now there are campgrounds. I did check online and them things are sold out. Everything around Phoenix is still sold out. Never realized how busy it was here. But when you book, look at it online, I mean, you can't even get anything within two weeks at a lot of these uh, campgrounds. But it showed they had two big ones here. All right, we should be seeing the lake shortly. There it is. Yay. Welcome to Lake Pleasant. And it's got water. Look at that. That is one big marina down there. Look at that thing. Woof. For a county park. That's huge. All right. Well, let's see. Let's make a left end up here. We'll pull into the marina. Get a few pictures. Scope it out a little bit. Roads closed ahead, so we can't go any farther anyway. Scorpion Bay. Wow, look at that cactus there. <laughs> it's like a little tree, huh? They are everywhere. This whole area. This looks good. Perfect. Looks like a little mini water park for the kids, huh? Little slides and all kinds of cool stuff. So this is really a family outing place. I'm sure on the weekends this thing is just packed. That's why you can't get in the campgrounds. Working on some buildings over there. Wow, look at the color of the water against the little hillsides and the red dirt that is one big floating marina little peninsula there they had that area closed off that sign said back there right there as far as you can go that's the damn way across Pretty cool. This is a huge lake. Lake Pleasant. Oh, I see one of the our 
uh, campgrounds way off. You can see all the RVs. That's the road we came in on. Swing around. That's one of their day use areas. And looks like parking for the marina. Pretty cool. We're going to go way out that direction. That's where we're camping tonight. Pretty cool. I thought there'd be a little bit more back in here, though. So this is mainly boaters. Probably on the other side where the dams are. You can't access it from here. There's probably more areas over there, too. But, we say, let's go find some boondocking spots. Well, it's one way in, one way out. We'll just head back the same way. I would definitely try camping here, one of their campgrounds. If you look at it, uh, the reviews are really good. Good luck trying to get a reservation here, though. You know, before you know it, the weather's perfect now, but... Here in the desert, it goes from nice to hot overnight. Matter of fact, they're forecasting in a few days going to be up in the 90s, close to the 100s. In this area right here, guess what? It is hot. Alright, we came in this direction, came in from the left, we're going to go to the right. Going to go out here and head out, find this boondocking area. It's a ATV staging area and free camping. Wow, look at all the trailers. There's a lot of ATVers here. But my friends told me there's hundreds of miles of trails up here. You can go way back. A lot of Jeep clubs come out here. Okay, we need to make a left up here. According to the phone. Yep. To the right it would just take us back down to the lake. We already seen that. Power lines heading back here. Look at that pavement ends. That's what it said on the reviews for this uh, area out here too. Kind of a rough road. Well, we'll just take it slow. There's one of the boards. 14 day limit. Free camping. Cool. Well, there's power lines back here, so they must have uh, some type of business or commercial buildings out here. Hey, look at that. Look at all the fishermen. Like a little causeway here, go across the water. We're at the very end. Oh, way out. I can see the trailers. I see the camp area. 
I'm averaging about 10 miles an hour. It's pretty rough. I don't want to beat up the... Everything in the van rattles if I go too fast. But it's heavily fenced with all this metal fencing. It says private property. Park boundary. So they keep you off the property here, even on this road. Look at that, they can beat your boat right there. When you see that many fishermen, they're catching them. All right, we should be out there shortly. Oh, I think that's a turn. Let me back up here. I almost missed the road. There's a sign here that says glampers. They must have groups out here. This is the road here. Okay. And I can see the RVs way up top of this hill. Found it. check the phone. I got five bars of signal out here. That's pretty good. See that metal fencing there? They're keeping ATVs off of the their property. Here it is. We made it. Cool. Day camping limit, Bradshaw Foothills. This is it here. This is home for the night. Let's go find a spot. There is a lot of people out here. Looks like groups. They're all circled. Home for the night. <laughs> Free camping. But it wasn't too bad getting out here. Look how pretty though, you can, we're right at the top part of the lake. And look at all the trails. Free camping. With trails. Be a good place to bring the buggy someday. As far as you can see, way out there. There's the road. There's quite a few rigs. This isn't that big of an area. But still better than camping down by the road closer to the lake, in my opinion. Cool. Okay, here we are. We're boondocking out here above Lake Pleasant. 
I'll show you my setup. Usually when I boondock, I got the foil in the windows. The windows knock some of the heat out. Really, today's kind of nice. We're in the, I'd say right around 80 degrees. Pretty big breeze up here. Listen to all them people over there. That's a bad thing about free camping. 400 watts of solar on the roof. I got the power booster fired up. I just checked both uh, jetpacks. Super high speed out here. Right here I got the Wii Boost going. Or the High Boost, excuse me. We got full full range, full five bars. That's ATT. This one's Verizon. Five bars. We're cooking. There's a power cord, don't need it. Fridge is running off the house batteries. I got the fantastic fans. We'll go in the other way. I put the air conditioner back in here, but I need shore power for that. Don't need it today. Got the curtains. These are insulated curtains. They knock out the heat and the light. Got a little Velcro thing here. We can see up here in the cab. Knocks it out pretty good. The sunshine. All the filming I did today, I'm going to empty the footage out of the SD cards. Tonight, I'm just running the laptop, not the big screen. I run everything off the Blue Eddy battery. That's a Blue Eddy 200 Max. So all the drone batteries, everything's charging with the Blue Eddy. Then I got my house lights, all 12 volt fridge coffee pot I can run off the blue eddy and electric skillet I mean I can cook if I want got my big uh, Renato fan there if I need it don't really need it today and here's the fantastic fans I opened both that one's exhausting so the air goes through and then with my look with this door shut here I'll shut it feel the breeze <laughs> those fans is pull a continuous breeze it's like uh, having the air conditioner on so this is how I boondock tonight's on menu is uh, salad bought some stuff at Safeway make a salad okay anyway this is a setup typical setup for a one night of free camping once again that blue eddy is a beast that's a tremendous amount of power. Plus I have my house batteries underneath there too. And there's my boondocking classic. Salad, cheddar cheese, tuna, tomatoes, with Thousand Island. Bon appetit.